Now, I just heard something that I thought was very interesting. I heard a woman say, if I love myself more, then people will love me more. We've all had that belief. We've all had it. But what I realize now, looking backwards and just hearing that from another person at this point in my life, it's that it's interesting to see what expectations we have from our self-love journey. We all come into this with expectations, whether we like it or not, whether we assume it or not, accept it or not. I, I feel like it's bullshit when people tell you have no expectations. Like we're human beings, we're gonna have expectations. I believe it's okay to question your expectations, maybe explore your expectations and see what's maybe behind them, what you learn from them. But aiming to have no expectations to me is a sure way to not succeed at that if that's your goal. Um, and I feel like it's interesting. We've all had the, the, the belief or the idea that if I love myself more than people will love me more because we hear that all the time and I've even said it a lot maybe that if you don't it's hard to love others if you don't really love yourself it's hard for maybe others to be able to for you to be able to be open to receive love from others if you can't really love yourself but then if we have that expectation that if I love myself more people will love me more then I would just question that belief and that expectation. Like, then why is it that I'm hoping to get more love out of people as a result of me loving myself more? Is it because I feel lonely? I believe, I believe most of us at some point, 99.9% .9 of human beings at some point in our lives are going to feel lonely. So it's okay. It's not questioning your belief to judge it and criticize it and hate yourself for it. It's just to be aware of your patterns. We all have patterns, same thing. So, same thing, like if I love myself more then I won't, I'll be able to heal the wound from childhood or I'll be able to feel better right now. All right, so if we think that now me loving myself for me for example personally I, I've, I've had the belief at different stages in my life different points in my life that my parents were not really proud of me and I was doing a lot to try to impress them I, and I did incredibly well throughout school back in my home country of Uruguay and then here in the US and in some ways I knew that I was just trying to impress my parents and and, and get that, like that, that was one of the ways that I got love and attention as a kid, like with my perfect grades. And it's just interesting to now see like, okay, maybe am I trying to love myself now to fill in the, 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 the void of this and that and heal this particular wound and then what I noticed happened to me and I noticed happened to a lot of people that I talk to and help and all that is that now I have that expectation of like, okay, this self-love journey is going to heal that wound that I had from my parents in childhood and this and that. And then I start my self-love journey and a week goes by and I'm like, why am I still getting triggered and why am I still sad and why am I not feeling great today? And then two weeks go by and a month goes by why am I not feeling the way I was hoping I would feel like why am I not feeling amazing 100% of the time like why am I still insecure and why am I still shy and why am I still so afraid of this and why do I worry so much about what people think of me and that's that's the self-love thing even work does it even help? And I think that I was having a, a coaching session with a client. The, the, the main topic of the, section, the session was expectations. I really do feel like, like I said, it, it's not a, a goal, maybe not even a possibility to have no expectations. 
but I do see how our expectations really mess up with our journeys and, and, and the way that we see things. So I really, I like the idea, at least right now at this point in my life, of questioning my expectations and inviting my clients and friends or whatever, if it comes up, I, I don't force it on anyone, I don't bring up the conversation, but questioning our expectations and, and maybe challenging, right? Compassionately challenging our expectations and, and realizing like, if it's because I feel lonely, okay, then maybe love the part of you that feels lonely, love the version of you that feels lonely. If I'm doing it because I feel like I my parents are not proud of me, then love that part of me that feels like my parents are not proud of me. And love the part of me that feels like I can never impress people. Because I know, well, maybe consciously or unconsciously, we try to impress people. Maybe we're not aware of it. And maybe we blame ourselves for it and we feel bad. And there's so many things. Like, it's such a... There's so many pieces to this puzzle that I feel like sometimes people, and I'm including myself in this, I'm not judging people, but I feel like people, we, um, oversimplify this self-love journey. And I've made so many freaking videos on, on self-love that it's not like I, I don't try to simplify it. Sometimes maybe I just cover like a tiny topic within the self-love umbrella and, and everything that it that it entails but it is a very I'm not saying complicated but a very complex with a lot of moving pieces journey um, so I think if you're if you have that question of if I love myself more will people love me more you're not gonna like my answer. Well, you, if you watch this far, you know what my answer is, but what if there's no guarantees? What if there's no guarantee that what you were hoping to get out of this self-love journey is what's going to happen? Are you okay with that? It's okay if you're not, because we need to give ourselves permission to first not be okay with that to maybe get really pissed at that get really frustrated at that angry sad whatever comes up naturally so that without forcing it eventually we might be okay with that we might be okay with that you know what maybe all these goals and aspirations and hopes that I have out of this self-love journey, maybe out of this program that I'm doing, out of this book, out of this video, out of this whatever, maybe none of those will happen. And that's gonna be hell for a part of you, maybe the ego, the small self that people call it, the whatever. But at a deep level, the soul knows that, I believe. At a deep level, you're okay with that. At a deep level, that's what we signed that for, is that if that's how you want to look at it. I don't know, it's a fascinating journey, holy shit. So, I don't know, just an idea that I wanted to share. And of course, please be aware of that. I'm not claiming to know the truth. I'm just one guy with my own beliefs, my own ways of seeing things, my own experiences in life, my own fears, my own insecurities, my own wounds, my own journey. So, doesn't mean that what I'm saying is true. It's my little point of view on this. Hope that helps.